Hey, it's Em here and welcome to episode two of How To Be A Beauty Queen. I'm coming to you today with no makeup on and I've done that purposefully to magnify the fact that being a beauty queen is not all about hair and makeup, okay? I am in the beauty industry myself. I run my own beauty um, business and I'm very aware that there are just days when you just do not want to do the whole makeup thing, right? So I'm coming to you with no makeup on because it's more important to focus on what is inside of you. Now that is why I chose the um, beauty pageant Miss Premier Elite Australia because they aligned with what I feel passionately about. Now that leads me on to how to choose your platform. What is a platform? Okay, a platform is an area in your life that you feel incredibly passionate about. So for instance, I feel passionate about female empowerment. So it's something that I work with in my everyday life. So when you know what your platform is, you're then going to choose your charity that aligns with your platform. Your platform may be um, animals. You want to prevent animal cruelty. It may be um, that you feel very passionately about ending poverty. It may be you feel very passionate about a specific group of people that you feel that you can help with. Um, maybe a, a group of, with someone with disabilities or can, cancer research, you know, that kind of thing. So what, now you know what your platform is, you choose your charity to align with that. So when you're looking, when you're choosing, you may already have a charity that is close to your heart and that is fantastic. I was lucky because I already had a charity that was close to my heart. I didn't have to think about it. But if you are looking for a charity to align yourself with and to work with, um, to run alongside uh, your pageantry, then you need to make sure it's something you're very, very passionate about because a couple of reasons. You're going to be spending a lot of time working with that um, it, passion. <laughs> I can't find my words today. And working with that charity. But secondly, you need to genuinely be passionate about it. Now, one of the major things about being a beauty queen is being genuine, genuine and real. Okay, I know we've got the sparkles, the makeup, the hair and all that jazz, but actually what it's about is being a genuinely um, interesting, exciting and um, intelligent and passionate person. That's really what it's about. So when you're choosing your charity, make sure it aligns with you. So for instance, my platform is female empowerment. My charity of choice is Share the Dignity. So Share the Dignity is a charity that collects feminine hygiene products and distributes it, distributes it to people in poverty situations and domestic violence situations. And we also collect um, like nappies and things like that as well. So take a look at my photos and my little uh, snippets for you and you'll see a little bit of the work that I did um, in the run up towards getting my crown. All right, so now when you register, make sure that you're sharing on your social media. This is me collecting feminine hygiene products from local business owners. And again, just sharing on my social media to get the awareness. This is me donating to Woolworths to check out the broken foot. You can purchase products from your charity, t-shirts and things like that. This is me actually volunteering and I'm what I'm doing here is sorting out the It's In The Bag drive. There's me donating to It's In The Bag Drive, and that was at Bunnings. So when you have other companies that work with you, such as Woolworths and Bunnings, tag them in your posts as well. You want to document all of your work so that you can actually hand that into your pageant and also share it on your social media. And then lastly, think outside of the box. I'd organise a radio interview of 89.7 to talk about Share the Dignity.